Virgo, this is your forecast for the month of September 2017. If you have visited me before, I'd like to thank you for returning, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. This is a general reading for Virgo Sun, Virgo Rising, or Virgo Moon. It might also be helpful for you to watch your rising and moon sign as well. You can join me on Facebook and Instagram for daily insights on tarot and astrology as well as my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash thealchemistastrologer, where you can find on-demand pages concerning love, finance, and other readings. Now, the third week you have another night. This is air energy, so this is... I'm sorry, this is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. And this night is very different from last week's emotional. Now we've gotten away from the emotion and we're operating in our head, our thoughts, our speech, our communication. This is somebody who is, you know, very adamant about what they want. They want what they want and they don't like taking no for an answer. Uh, so there could be some unexpected developments in a situation or in your behavior that creates a chain of events. Uh, now, somebody may be offering something and somebody's rushing in to, to give an offer. Uh, maybe some kind of protection during some type of difficulty, whether whatever kind of offer that may be. It could be advice. It could be some kind of support. Uh, but this is going to be a week that is moving quickly. There are new people. There are new experiences. You may be taking some type of uh, quick or impulsive action. Uh, maybe you're coming up with some quick solutions. You're trying to use the power of your persuasion to get what you want because this night is concerned with being a champion, being a leader, enforcing something, whether that's um, law enforcement or whether that's education, uh, but there's the enforcement of an idea or the strong pursuit of a goal. And, and sometimes the ruthless or selfish pursuit of a goal. So for you, this is going to be a week where, you know, you are connecting to somebody. Maybe there's been an offer put on the table. Maybe somebody's been closed off or perhaps you've been holding yourself back. But this is a week where communication or moving forward or travel is very important. However, you may have that mutual attraction that the Knight of Cups, you know, points to. However, this is a week where you're not exactly on the same page. You are out of sync with somebody else. Uh, maybe it's timing, maybe it's beliefs, or maybe it's circumstances. Some of you are rushing into a situation and you're putting an offer out there without fully thinking it through. And so you may suddenly connect to another person. Uh, maybe you make an agreement or you move in together or you sign a contract, but you're doing it very quickly, almost on the fly. So it may center around resurrecting some type of relationship that or, or situation uh, that you're trying to bring back to life. There's some type of change taking place and something that you thought was dead, you may be focused on giving it new life. There's a sense of renewal or moving on from the old situation. So some type of change again taking place. Uh, now for others of you, you know, you're rushing in to do something, but somebody's not paying attention to this offer. Uh, and so you're going to end up feeling as if you're just going, you rushed in and you, you rushed into a wall. Nothing is happening. You're trying to either start something or close it out and it's just not coming together. So you may end up, because you can't agree, you may end up you know, having some disagreements and those may escalate and turn into something kind of ugly. 
uh, especially because this knight likes to prove other people wrong and he likes to use his speech or his thought to undercut others, to dominate or decimate them. And he believes wholeheartedly in whatever he's doing. So either he's working with you as an ally or he's strongly working against you uh, to defeat you. So this is a week for you to be careful about the battles that you're picking. Choose your battles wisely. You may be looking to have complete freedom for, for yourself, yet you want to impose some type of restriction on a partner or somebody you're connected to. Again, it could be, you know, travel is on the table. There's an offer. Maybe you held, you're held back or maybe there's a last minute offer and you're rushing to take action on it. Uh, so you are examining, you know, your ideas and you're pushing things beyond the normal limit.